Hey guys, what's up Aquarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what yours, leave the rest behind. If that's resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. I'm still offering the $10 readings. So if you like that, that information is on my Facebook page. Looks like you guys just finished up a cycle. So now something's about to start moving, probably. Um, uh, show me the immediate future for Aquarius. But it kind of looks, yeah, it kind of looks like that cycle, like, maybe left you more confused or more, like, uncertain or up in the air about something. Oh, you, what's going on? All right, well, at least that's happening. So you got the Two of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords. I mean, you got your energy all over this air energy, but the Seven of Swords in the middle of it, uh, sneaky, sneaky energy, and we got the two of swords to begin with, so that may have to do with the situation, like, kind of uncertain, because that's, like, a, a unmade decision, or, like, a situation that's kind of, like, just not feeling like it's moving right now, it's at a crossroads, so uh, kind of the overall thing is somebody sneaking off here, but maybe, just maybe, we're pulling away from that sneaky energy. Because you got some type of communication, but it's also possible you have somebody who's like non-committal there. Show me this uh, Two of Swords for Aquarius. What is... Oh, no, too many. What the hell? Wait. <laughs> like on again, off again. Somebody having more than one thing going on. Show me that Two of Swords. One card, please. Thank you. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, they were Gemini, that could be you, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Hangman, Pisces, Energy. Somebody's just been sitting there waiting, really nervous to approach you, it's taking forever, it's really nervous to talk, to reach out, but with the Two of Swords and that Ace of Swords, what was not seen or said before is trying to get seen or said now. <laughs> The hangman and they, I mean, like, literally somebody nervous, like, crazy nervous. Something could have got revealed here in the way of betrayal on some level. And now that's why somebody's really nervous, too. Like, they're still just hanging there, but fear is holding this back, like, worry. They don't know how to approach the situation. I don't know what to say. Show me the seven of swords. There's a huge kind of emphasis here on, you know, something got revealed that somebody did or, you know, uh, just maybe somebody felt betrayed. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. It feels like on hold, now all go, mo go mode. Show me, okay, that's not cool. Um, you have the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So the first thing why I said is that's not cool because this is kind of um, off topic for a person, but this can be like somebody withholding something. I mean, um, I'm going to tell you about relationship in a second, but for some, like if it's like around family or something or like business partner, like somebody could have got a little stingy there. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. All right, so um, if it is, I don't know why that's coming across so much. Because I see this clearly as relationship. I mean, it's somebody trying to hold on to two sides of something. But around money, like if things were supposed to be like equal give and take, or somebody's trying to hold, it's, it's kind of a greedy energy. Even the same around um, a relationship. Yeah, the devil, Capricorn energy. Um, it's, it's something that was caught in the middle. Relationship wise, I mean, somebody could have been given the two sides here and not letting, like, not letting go of one or, 
you know, still holding on. And that's what, that's what this is. It's cool that the Six of Swords is here because you're going to pull away from that type of energy. But something around, I don't know why it's coming through so strong. Something, I mean, around relationship, in no way is it cool. But this could be like, I'm really feeling like something around family or something that was supposed to be like equal. Like something that was supposed to be, I don't know why it's coming across like that. I mean, around a person, if somebody was giving the two sides, wanting to hold, yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. For some, this is a third party. It's been some stalking going on. So, I mean, it depends if you're dealing with somebody, right? Then take it like that. If you're not dealing with somebody, something about some type of money flow, somebody's trying to, like, hold back, hold on to something. I mean, that, that's the obstacle right there, either way. Show me that Six of Swords for Aquarius. Well, actually, show me that Devil. Again, we uh, got the Lovers, Gemini, Energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Swords for Capricorn, Death, Scorpio, and the Two of Wands. You got a choice to me. Somebody's got choices, but you're about to have this type of energy approach you where something was, you know, not, not equal give and take. Somebody's refusing to like let go of one side or something like that. So it's kind of like, I mean, it's slowly but surely. It looks like you're with the death card there, breaking those chains. Show me the Six of Swords. It's progress. The Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. So, I mean, it's kind of like an obsessive energy here. A very addictive energy. For some, you could be moving into a new house. I'm going to explain this in a second, but this person is not going to let go of you. That's for sure. I mean, you literally could be moving in together. Could be traveling. Could be a completely new house, but you have the two of wands, the three of wands, the four of wands. So when we started over here with this two of swords and all this nervousness to speak up or whatever, uh, we're like propelling way past that now. I don't like the devil and the queen of wands just because like unless you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody that's like a definite hold here. And this can have to do with a lot of, like, obsession and, like, you know, can't let you go type thing. You're moving, like, completely towards something stable over here, though. It is just an immediate future reading. But, yeah, that King of Wands, there could have been, hell, could have been a married woman, could have been a married man with the King and Queen of Wands and that Four of Wands up there. Um... Show me the death card, because it looks like it's kind of, with the death and the devil, unless you're dealing with a Scorpio, it gives, well, I mean, I guess even if you are, the death card is about releasing it. It feels like the Seven of Wands, somebody's trying to, you know, put a, walk away from that. Definitely matching each other's energies. Very, oh, y'all coming up. Happy as hell. Both of you definitely may have other options. You both could be, I mean, not other options, but like, you know, definitely noticed, especially with the Six of Wands here. Um, the Six of Wands is a card of victory. It's a card of success. So you're moving up, but there could be, um, I mean, this person is definitely very proud to have you, and it seems like the same way back. Also, though, because I know I had said something about, like, withheld money, you know, somebody kind of did something on one side, and then, uh, you know, as a result, there'd be a new home, new relationship, new, like, literally a vacation type thing, so... There, there's a couple of different messages. It kind of depends on the situation around you. This person would probably have like a big ego. Not for some, but definitely for, for some. 
so wow. Um, let me ask the angels what you should do. Okay, this, I mean, there was something caught in the way, and when it looks like whatever was caught in the way, somebody's walking away from that, and really elevating things, like committing, um, but sometimes, like, King of Wands, even the Queen of Wands energy, um, it's very exciting, very confident, very, yeah, let's go, but sometimes, I mean, it feels like the King and Queen of Pentacles, that's a little bit more secure, all right. You have deception. Someone is wearing a false, <clears throat> excuse me, self mask in this relationship. And remember to love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. This just happens so quick, is what it feels like. <laughs> Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Uh, like I said, I, I feel a little bit better. I mean, the energies around, like, power couple, like, confident, you know, definitely a good energy, magnetic, you know, things like that. But sometimes I feel a little bit better for the King of Queen of Wands. I mean, Pentacles, like the energy, I mean, just because of what we had here in the past. But, uh, you know, it's a general reading, it's a hat, and it's just immediate future, so, you know, I'm not looking for far out, I'm looking for the energies right now, and it definitely is things elevating. Alright, Aquarius, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well, as well as if you're interested in a $10 reading. You can find that information on my Facebook page. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.